Well, in the past week, YouTube have had their Made on YouTube event. Now, this event is where YouTube announced future uh, feature announcements for things coming out later in 2024 and into 2025. So this could be like a roadmap for the next 12 months. Now at the event, they talked about many, many things, but here are 10 areas or features that they talked about, and we're going to rank them on your typical tier ranking type page. Uh, as you can see here, we've got S tier, a, B, C, and D. So we're gonna try and rate them as best we can. I've got images to represent each announcement feature. Last Saturday, I did a live stream where I went through these in a particular order. So I'm gonna try and attack them in the same order. We'll talk about briefly what they are in, in a couple of words, and then I'm gonna uh, rank them and give a bit more of like an opinion uh, in, in, as to why I'm ranking them where I rank them all my, based on my opinion, and you might have a completely different ranking for these particular set of features. So I invite you to make your own tier list for Made on YouTube, and there's a link in the description where you can actually click and get my exact same uh, link at Tier Maker to put together your own video on this. And if you do, make sure to tag me in the comments. So the first one is gonna be the um, expansion of Dream Screen, talking about uh, Google Vio. So we've got this one here. This is where Dream, Dream Screen is where in the past you could add to your short late a AI generated background. Uh, whilst you're making a video, you could be in front of that background, static background. But Vio is bringing video into the mix and be able to create a, a moving uh, background for your YouTube shorts. And then they're expecting that sometime in 2025, they're also going to be rolling out six second standalone clips. So this, so this is like an AI feature. Now, AI is great and all. This is definitely not an S tier. This is something, it's going to determine as to where you're going to rank this as to how invested in shorts you are, because this is a shorts based feature only. I do make shorts. I don't go over the top on shorts, but uh, many creators do, and that's uh, each to their own. So, I'm going to just put it in B for now for me. So we're going to drop that one in B tier. And just as a disclaimer, before we continue, I reserve the right to go back and just move these around if I decide that maybe something needs to be ranked a little bit higher than something else and we'll move it around. All right, let's look at the next one. This is one that, that, that hasn't been touched on a lot, but it was in the notes for Made on YouTube. And it is something that is called More Effects Capabilities on YouTube Shorts. This is another Shorts feature additional tools, something that's a web-based tool that's gonna to be called Effect Maker that will allow anyone to create, publish, and manage effects for use in YouTube Shorts. This is another AI thing. Down the road, they're gonna add uh, generative AI puppeteering. So that means you can be able to move figures or even people around like a puppet. So this could be coming out soon or it could be coming a little bit later, unknown. Now this is interesting, they didn't talk about this in any of the recaps that I've seen. So it's, this is a bit of a mystery for me, but it but it is a little bit more powerful than the stuff that we've seen in short so far. I would probably rate it above the, the VO thing, but there's so much unknown because they didn't really talk about it. I don't know the reason for that. So I'm gonna rate it the same, just to put all the AI stuff together. All right, now we're gonna get a little bit more interesting and we're gonna talk about the additional things that they're adding to the inspiration tab. Uh, we used to have something called the research tab in analytics in YouTube studio. Now, for a little while now, we've had some inspiration where they started to add some, some features where you can ideate. So there's a lot of ideation and I think this is probably the, the green fields or the, the crucial part now in 2024, 2025 for creators to make videos that people actually want to watch by um, researching and doing ideation. I think this is probably for, for me and I think a lot of creators, this is probably the place uh, uh, where we put in least effort, but we probably need to be putting in more effort. And if you can get a tool that will make that effort somewhat easier, then that's probably what we're going to do. So I've got an image for inspiration tools. Um, if you know more about the details of inspiration tools, you can go back and watch my live stream from last Saturday. Now, I think this is an important one. So I'm gonna, this is definitely gonna be ranked higher than Dream Screen. This could be an S tier one, but for now I'm gonna drop it in A tier because I think ideation is probably 
where creators need help the most. And I'm more excited about this generally than, than certainly some of this AI stuff we've talked about so far. Now we're gonna move over into a section around um, building communities. And so there's a couple of tools that we're talking about here. The first one is called uh, Communities. And think of it as, as some people have likened it to Discord on YouTube. If done right, this could be huge and it could be and if not done right, it could be a big balls up for YouTube. So, so a lot's riding on this for YouTube to get right. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. We've seen that they started testing this on some channels at a low level. So it's really in a beta test stage. How this looks fully formed, we'll wait and see. But I'm optimistic. So I'm going to drop it in A tier as well because I think this one has potential to be huge. Now related to that, not to be confused, I'll be talking about this more if you go back and check out the live stream. Something else they call Community Hub. Now Community Hub is basically, it's like a rebranding uh, and, and a powering up of your uh, comment section really. So it's very similar, but it's gonna give you uh, more uh, some AI tools for responding to comments and making that whole experience of responding to uh, your viewers a little bit more um, powerful. So there's a bit of a power up for that. Again, this could be good or bad. I'm not sure on this one. And I, I think having something called communities and then renaming your comment stuff to community hub is a little bit confusing. And only for that reason, I'm gonna drop that one down to a B tier. It probably would be in A tier otherwise. All right, now this is getting real interesting now. Some of these ones are really interesting. The next one we're gonna look at is gonna be called hype. Now hype is where people, uh, viewers can go and basically hype a video by one of their favorite creators. If a video really sort of hits them out of, out of the park. They've got three hypes that they can drop every week on creators' uh, videos. And that creator can have can be anywhere up to half a million subscribers, 500,000 subscribers uh, are eligible to receive hypes from their viewers. The smaller the channel, the more value that hype is. So a smaller channel that gets lots of hypes could potentially rank higher than a big channel with the same amount of hypes, for example. And so these are gonna be factored as something uh, that is gonna appear in a separate listing or table. Think of trending, but instead of being curated by YouTube, it's created by the viewers at large. So it's like a trending tab curated by the viewers who are enjoying and wanting to promote and help their favorite small creator get a little bit more of a leg up. Now this isn't gonna affect recommendation system anyway. This is just an additional place of discovery. So this could have potential to be really good. And there is some talk about once you've used up your three for a week, a viewer can actually drop money on hype. There's something that they're considering and it could come in the, uh, down the road for hype so that, that you could potentially have your viewers paying to get your video hyped and then you are even getting like a little bit of that, a little bit of that, uh, that money that they're dropping on the video. You're getting uh, like YouTube will get a cut and you'll get a cut. What that's going to look like, we don't know. There's a lot of unknowns in this. It has the potential to be an S tier and there's a potential to be a C or D tier. Um, so right now, I'm gonna drop it in A tier because I think it could be good. We just have to see, again, with a lot of these things, it's the implementation. We don't know what it's gonna look like uh, in the final form. Okay, this is one that's huge and been talked about in different realms and it's called auto dubbing. Now this is a step up from uh, when they start turning on multi-language audio, YouTube, when are you gonna do that? You know, it's that last year it made on YouTube. Auto dubbing is where they will automatically dub or translate your spoken word based on your your closed captions that, that, that they're already reading off what you're saying. They're gonna take that and then create an a audio dub or an audio track in the language of your choice, depending on what languages are available. This could be huge at reaching a bigger market, a bigger audience beyond just say, if you're English speaking, beyond just say English speaking countries, you could start reaching, like if it's say in Hindi, you could start reaching India, uh, Spanish, huge amount of countries you can reach in Spanish and so forth. So this has the potential to be huge. This potentially could be S tier. I'm gonna move something to S tier at some point, but for the time being, I'm putting this in S tier because I think this could be huge. We're getting into some like some monetization areas. The next one is GIFs powered by jewels. Now this could be 
an interesting way. Now, uh, you could look at it uh, in a couple of ways. You could look at it, well, YouTube already has Super Chats, Super Stickers, and certainly people can already drop those in vertical streams. Now, they're gonna be testing this in vertical live streams starting in the USA, and then maybe rolling it out further after doing some testing. This is a bit like buying um, Twitch bits. So they're copying a feature from a platform, maybe to attract more streamers, I don't know. So they're able to buy jewels, and when, when they've got a whole bunch of jewels, say you buy 5,000 jewels, then you can go and buy gifts that you can gift to the streamer. So as a viewer, I can buy 5,000 jewels and I might say gift is worth 400. So I can use 400 of those 5,000 to buy a gift. So I have like a little bank account of in-game currency, so to speak, that I can drop on these uh, vertical live streams for now. And these could, could roll out to like all live streams eventually, uh, maybe other areas, maybe even like super thanks and st so forth. This could be like a different way of dropping a whole lot of money on YouTube and then sort of divvying that up to different creators over the period period of time until they've used up all the jewels. Uh, so this could be good. Anything that's additional monetization for streamers and, and creators is good. I don't know whether we need it because of, we've already got super chats. Super stickers seem to really cross over with this one in, 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 in like sort of throw away money sort of uh, category. But this is just done in a slightly different way. Maybe this will supersede stickers. Maybe they'll take stickers away, just keep super chats and, uh, and drop gifts. Now, I'm optimistic about that, so for the time being, I'm gonna drop that in A, and uh, we'll continue. We've got a couple more to do, and then we're gonna just finalize our tiers. Right now, they're launching some stuff in countries. Uh, the, the shopping affiliate program is currently in the US and South Korea. This week, they've expanded that to Indonesia in partnership with a, a, a place called Shopee, and then that's coming out, that's extending out to Thailand and Vietnam as well, so some Asian countries getting that there. I think YouTube Affiliate Program is, has some potential for a monetization, but I'm not really sold on the implementation right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop that on B tier. This is just a, a block of features around YouTube content appearing on television. Now, some of these features we, 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 there's mentioned is actually gonna probably extend to desktop and mobile in some instances as well. We're talking about things uh, like the expansion of like a Netflix style sort of format where you can create seasons and episodes, which is I think is really good for creators. I think this is really good. Um, dynamic um, wallpapers or channel banners, instead of having the static channel banner like we have right now, you could have potentially like a little, little YouTube trailer type thing playing there, um, something that's visually appealing to people. And so you can have that going. The other thing they're doing on TV is converting every link in your description to a QR code so people can just scan them on the screen that have to go looking for the link to click on it. I think they're all excellent features, and I actually think this is gonna be an A-tier feature. So I'm gonna drop that into A-tier. Now, I've really stacked everything towards the top of this, this tier list, so I'm gonna reassess a couple of these right now, particularly the uh, effects thing, just because there's a lot of unknown, and they didn't really talk about it a lot in any of the documentation other than one place that I saw it. So too many question marks to be a B-tier, we'll move it down to a C-tier. I'm gonna leave Dream Dream screen, the VO AI uh, generation stuff on B tier. The YouTube affiliate program, I'm also gonna move that down to C tier. I'm gonna leave community uh, hub there. I just I just think the branding is confusing on that. I think the features are probably gonna be really good, but I think the branding is confusing. And that's why I've left it a B tier. Now let's go back up to A tier. It seems to be really stacked with a lot of things. Cause I think potentially there's one or more things that could be up in S tier with auto dubbing. And I'm not even convinced that auto dubbing should be an S tier at this moment but I'm thinking Inspiration Tools is probably an S tier, to be honest. And I might leave it stacked like that. So we're gonna finalize and go over what we've got here in S tier. In S tier, we've got auto dubbing and Inspiration Tools. Down in A tier, we've got Communities, we've got Hype, we've got GIFs powered by Jules, and we've got the new formatting for TV and interfacing with viewers in a, in a big screen format. B tier, we've got VO, and Community Hub, and in C tier, we've got the Effects Maker and YouTube Shopping Updates. Because they were underwhelming generally as an update, and I think they've got a lot of work to do in regards to the affiliate program, but it could be good in the future. Everything is subject to change because none of this is rolled out yet. This is all just potential, potentialness, as they call it. So let me know what you think. Where would you rank these things? And if you wanna make your own tier list based on the made, 
on YouTube 2024 announcements. Then in the description below, there's a link to uh, Tier Maker where you can actually grab the very template that I created here and make your own tier list video. And if you make your own tier list video, whether it's a short or a long form content or a live stream, make sure you tag me somewhere uh, uh, in, in that, in the description or wherever so that I can find it and have a look. So I can comment on your rankings. I think that'd be cool. Now, if you wanna know more about Made on YouTube, there's a link to that live stream that I talked about where I broke down all these features in more detail. So go check that out. In the meantime, this is Doug and I'll catch you later.